man and beast. Uh -huh. And they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your own estates. Ooh, he said, I'm going to settle you after your own estate. Mm -hmm. You going back to your land, Israel. And what else? And will do better unto you than, <laughs> than at your beginnings. Look at that. I'm going to do better to you than at your beginnings. And ye shall know uh -huh. that I am the Lord. Ooh, we got something to look forward to, don't we? I hope I'm here to see it. Skip down to verse 17. Go ahead and read. Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt, dwelt in their own land, uh -huh. they defiled it by their own way. And, and by their doings, their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Uh -huh. Wherefore, <clears throat> I poured my fury upon them for the blood, for the blood that they had shed upon the land uh -huh. and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. Keep reading. And I scattered, their, scattered them among the heathen. And I scattered them among the heathen, among the nations. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. And they were dispersed through the country. Uh-huh. According to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. Now, what was according? Why did he judge them according to their way and according to their doings? Because they wouldn't keep his laws and his commandments, did he? He said, if you keep my commandments, I'm going to bless you. If you don't, I'm going to curse you. So he judged them according to their fruit of their ways, did he? He did, brother. And here we are. But there's deliverance coming, though. Go ahead and read. Verse 20. Uh-huh. And when they entered into the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. And we still, our people still profane in his holy name, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Catholic, Muslims, you name it. We in every religion still profane in his holy name. Sure enough, right? Sunday Christians. Go ahead and read. Profane my holy name uh -huh. when they said to them, These are the people of the Lord uh -huh. and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for my holy name, uh -huh. which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen. Skip down, the verse, went. skip down to verse 24. See, he had pity for his name. You understand? That's why he had pity for us. Because we bear his name. Yes, sir. The Thank children God. of Israel. That's the Lord's name, Israel. That's right. Skip down to verse 24. Go ahead and read it. For I will take you from among the heathen uh -huh. and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own and land. And bring you into your own land. Go ahead and read. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Uh huh. And ye shall be clean. Go ahead. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. Uh huh. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart. That stony heart, you know, kicking against the Lord. We ain't got to keep no commandments. We ain't got to keep no law. At this, at this time, he's going to take away that stony heart. Sir. Go ahead and read. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you. His word, that's what he's going to put in you. Go ahead. And cause you to walk in my statutes. Uh-huh. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And do them. Go ahead and read. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people. Uh-huh. And I will be your God. And, and there you have it. Amen. Amen. The bondage and to the restoration of Israel. And I hope everybody got some understanding from this lesson, and this will conclude our Black History series. Yes. So I hope everybody learns something from this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to have the reading of the announcements. Praise the Most High God. Praise God. Praise Jesus' God. name. All right. Well, uh, first off, we got the Passover be. Uh, here in like 25 days, so uh, y'all get prepared, uh, get ready for the Passover. Um, that is, uh, the Passover is Thursday, April the 2nd at sundown, by the way. And then the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Yeah, and the Feast of Unleavened Bread, of course, follows the night after, uh, which would be Friday, uh, April the 3rd at sundown. Okay? <clears throat> but uh, it says, uh, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Losing the abilities. Uh, Israel's Church of the Living God. 
It says, Grace and peace to our brothers and sisters here at the Israel's Church of the Living God. If this is your first visit, we hope you come back and worship with us again next Sabbath. There's no eating or drinking in the sanctuary with the exception for water. Brothers and sisters, please adhere to the dress code of Israel's Church of the Living God. Brothers, please remove any head covering upon entering the building. Do not wear sleeveless shirts, fleece jogging pants, shorts, tight fitting pants, or any other revealing attire. Sisters, you must have a head covering. This is required. Hat, scarf, etc. Do not wear short skirts, midriffs, or see through blouses, mini dresses, mini skirts, halter tops of any kind, revealing splits, tight fitting, or cleavage revealing attire, modest apparel only. We have Bibles and scarves available for visitors. If you use a Bible scarf that belongs to Israel's Church of the Living God, please return it prior to leaving. If you live in the Lake County, Illinois area, please watch our television program, The Word for Life, every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., Comcast, Channel 17. Uh, <clears throat> you can visit our Facebook page at Israel's Church of the Living God to post questions or comments. All questions will be answered according to the Bible. You can click the Facebook like button to see our daily posts. Also click the follow button to receive class information and church activities. Updates in your news feed. Uh, in an effort to expand the church ministry, we have started a building fund. You can make your secure payments online using our PayPal account. That's at www.israelschurchoftlg.org. Or you can send your donations to the attention of ICOTLG at P.O. Box 8933, Waukegan, Illinois, 60079. We thank you for your past contributions and hope for your continued support. Free will donations are welcome and appreciated. Finally, brothers and sisters, please, please continue to pray for one another. This is this Sabbath day of Nelson. Okay, so we will be having the Passover April the, the Thursday, April the second at sundown. Services will be held, and April the third uh, at sundown is a feast of a first night of the feast of unleavened bread. We'll be having a holy convocation that night. Okay, and so uh, the, and the last night will be a Thursday, April the ninth at sundown. We will be having a holy convocation that night. So we want everybody to participate in these feasts. This is something that God commands us to do. Make that so we want to put forth our best effort and put forth our best uh, foot to um, um, do what God commanded us to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? So now, uh, and if you'd like to contact us here at Israel's Church of the Living God, you can give us a call at 847-636-4792. That's 847-636-4792. Uh, we also would like for you to follow us on our website. That's Israel's Church of TLG.org. Israel's Church of TLG.org. Which brings me to a message that we received on Facebook. Um, a young lady by the name of Naaja Love sent us a message on Facebook. It says, Now I am not church, meaning, you know, I don't really go to church that much. But she said, but I can clearly see this assembly of saints teach, follow, and clearly keep the commandments of the one true Yahweh. Y-H-W-H, she's got it. We don't have a no problem with that. No, sir. I recently discovered this body of believers. Watch three teachings and learn more from Brother Rodney than all the popular TV preachers combined. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I am amazed at how he cross-references, how he cross-referenced many scriptures to educate, unlike most others, in parentheses. Mm -hmm. I, tr I uh, uh, truly, he studies and refers to accurate facts of all human life. Thank you, Brother Rodney. So glad I am. We don't have no problem with that. No, sir. Answer my petition. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. So we'd like to thank that sister for her comments. And may you continue to watch us via internet 
uh, live stream or watch us on uh, uh, YouTube. And, uh, and you can continue to comment on Facebook. We thank you. And now, that is the, uh, the, the last of the announcements. We're going to stand and face Jerusalem and close out. Our Father, Our Father, which are in heaven, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. For thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. And thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us of our debts. And forgive us of our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not. And lead us not into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver. Us. From, evil. from evil, for thine is the kingdom, for thine is the kingdom. And, the power. And, and the power, and the glory, and the glory. Forever. forever, in Jesus' holy name we pray, in Jesus' holy name we pray, amen, amen, praise the Lord, praise, praise the Lord. Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord God of Israel, praise, praise the Lord God of Israel, in Jesus' name, in, in Jesus, Jesus' name, name. Amen. amen, amen.